What's up, family? Man, um, had a lot of dreams last night and early this morning. Um, one of the dreams that I had that kind of stuck with me uh, was that my childhood friend, a guy by the name of Aaron, who passed away like three, four years ago, and um, we're in the car, and man, I was cleaning out these big pieces of glass. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. There's these huge pieces of glass from his window, side window, that somehow was broken and in the car, and I'm picking the pieces up. And there's this big green piece, about this big, and we're thinking it's motivate. He's thinking it's motivate, right? And I'm just like, nah, bro, I don't think that's motivate. And he was trying to tell me that it was. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. He's trying to tell me that it was Motivite. And I was like, nah, bro. You know, I wear Motivite. That's not Motivite. You know, this piece right here is Motivite. Um, this piece right here, um, it's Motivite. You know, so I, I wear Motivite. And it's like, nah, bro, that's 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 not Motivite. And he's telling me that it is. And I said, nah, man, it's just a piece of glass. <laughs> it's just a big green piece of glass, you know. And... Which talking and driving is like, hey, let's go get something to eat. The movie, the movie, the dream goes off. And so I got up and I was like, man, what the heck does that mean? You know? And what God was showing me and was telling me was that, man, family, sometimes we're riding with the enemy. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. We're riding with the enemy. Aaron was my friend, all right? He's no longer here. He's transitioned out. Childhood friend, great friend, you know? And God would show me that, man, you know what? This dream was symbolic, you know what I mean? It's the fact that, you know what? Sometimes the closest people to you shatter your dreams. Sometimes the people closest to you the people that you would think would be supporting you, and you would think the people that are that got your back, those are the ones that kill your dreams. They shatter your dreams. And you don't even know that they're shattering your dreams. And you're just steadily riding with them. You don't even know that they're crushing you. You know what I mean? And, and they're taking all of what you could be. They're robbing you of that. And you don't even know it. And you're riding with the enemy. Just completely clueless. Man, let's go eat. Let's go da 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 da. You know what I mean? Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Why am I talking about that? I was on my way to work yesterday. And um interesting thing happened. God was like, I want you to write this down. Grab your phone and start writing. You're sitting here in the car anyways. Just write. It's like, all right, what all right? You write what I tell you to write. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's just that's how me and God talk. You know what I mean? To each their own. And so what he gave me was what we're gonna talk about now. But it was weird because that dream adds to that. That dream was confirmation that dream was the icing on the cake you know what i mean i would believe that the great majority of us have seen the movie the matrix and god was showing me something yesterday as i was riding and i rode the bus to, to work yesterday for some reason and man it's it was like an hour and a half bus ride and I hadn't been on a bus in city bus in freaking forever, forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And but that was I was on the bus and he was telling me what to write. And it's like, man, this makes perfect sense why I wrote the bus because it gave me the time to sit there and to just meditate and to be like, man, I you got my undivided attention and I don't have anybody here on the bus to talk to and. I wouldn't have anyways, you know what I mean? And so just, man, it's perfect timing for me to write what he's given me to write. And so 
Neil in the Matrix. In the beginning of the movie, Neil didn't have a clue who he was. You know what I mean? He had no idea who he was. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. He was completely lost. Completely oblivious of who he was. He was frustrated with, in the job he had. He was frustrated with the life he had. He wanted more, but he didn't know how to get more. He wanted more and thought that life should have, be, have so much more meaning. But he didn't know how to go about that. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. And so, <laughs> Neil meets Morpheus. Neil wakes up, but he still don't know who he is. He still don't know who he is. And because he doesn't know who he is, he's running from the agents. You know what I mean? He's running from the agents. Excuse me, I'm justice. He's running from the agents because he doesn't know who he is. He gets a better understanding of who he is. Once he gets a better understanding of who he is, he stops running from the agents and starts to stand there toe to toe to fight the agents. But he still really don't know who he is. He still really don't believe he is who he is. He really don't believe he has the power to do what he's supposed to do and to be who he is. Once he gets a better understanding of who he is, he stops fighting the agents. He stops dodging their bullets. He stops dodging their punches. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. Then he gets a better understanding of who he is. It's a process. It's a process. Once he gets the full awakening, once he comes into himself of understanding who he is, what his ability is, man, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. And he becomes the one. That's, that's who we are, family. That's who we are. We're Neil in the process. What do I mean? We're Neil, Neil on our journey. You know what I mean? And so many of us, we're still asleep. You know what I mean? We're still asleep. We're Neil at the beginning of the movie. Some of us, we're Neil understanding that, man, there are agents out there. And the agents are out to get us. You know what I mean? And, man, we're running for them. And then some of us, we're Neil. We're like, oh, no, I ain't running from you. Um, let's go. You know, and we're standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And then there's some of us, we're Neil in the aspect that, man, psh, you can't see me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't take this fade. Man, I'm just whoosh, I'm just one hand behind my back and I, the other hand I'm just blocking your punches. You know what I mean? Man, I'm dodging your bullets and whoop whoop whoop. You know what I mean? And that's where some of us are at. And then some of us, man, we know we're the one. We know we're the one. I ain't got to block your bullets. I ain't got to dodge your bullets. I can stand there and just psh, peace, be still. And your bullets are going to stop right where they at. You know what I mean? Some of us, that's where we're at. Some of us, man, we have the ability to just take off. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. Family. Once you really know who you are and understand there are stages. There's a process to this, okay? So don't think that just because you think you woke, 
that you the one. Don't and what I mean by that cuz you are the one, but don't think that you completely got that power. Don't think that you just cuz you 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 became a woke last night or you became a woke a year ago that man, you've arrived. You know what I mean? You're Neil at the end of the movie because you ain't there yet. You ain't there yet. You know, there's a process. There's a process. And the funny thing is, your family, those closest to you, they inherently know that you're the one. They're going to hate on you. They're going to try to steal your dreams, shatter your dreams, because they don't understand that they could be the one too. They don't know how to get there. And they're mad and frustrated and jealous that you're on that road. And nothing they've done has gotten them on that road. And they're gonna try to steal your dreams. They're going to try to shatter your dreams, all your hopes. Once Neil realized who he was and the power he possessed, it's game over. Game over. He was a game changer. It changed the game. And the trip is, it don't matter what you call that. You know, don't get so t petty. You know, we, we, we do as humans for, for some reason. We get so dogmatic in titles. We get this hang up on titles. Neil was the one. He was the game changer. And some people call that, you know, Nirvana. Some people call that enlightenment. Some people call that Buddha consciousness. Some people call that God consciousness. Some people call that Christ consciousness. Man, it don't matter what you call it. Whatever you call it is irrelevant. It don't matter. But for some reason, we get so caught up on those titles. Oh, it has to be this. It has to be. Man, whether you call it the anointing, whatever, it don't matter. It don't matter. We have to understand that every group of people have their own language, their own culture, and they're going to call it something different. We have to grow up, family. We have to understand that, man, if you arguing and fighting over this title, man, you ain't nowhere close to that title. You don't deserve that title. You're nowhere close to even having that title. You can give yourself that title if you want to. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean you possess the power. Don't mean, mean that you're even close to understanding who you are. In a trip. Your family, your friends your loved ones that don't understand why you're the one. Man, they're going to call you arrogant. They're going to call you narcissistic. They're going to call you all kinds of crazy things to demean you and to belittle you and to minimize you and whoop de whoop do you can't be the one look how many times you've been divorced you can't be the one look how many baby daddies you got you can't be the one look how many baby mamas you got you can't be the one look how many times you've been to the pen you can't be the one look how many times you've been strung out on dope you can't be the one ain't you an ex felon ain't you an ex crackhead ain't you an ex tweaker ain't you da -da 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 -da? man they got all these reasons why you can't be the one They got all the reasons in the world why you can't be the one, why you can't be the game changer.
It is what it is. It is what it is. Understand that. Understand that it's going to break your heart. Understand that it's going to hurt you. Knowing that your family, your loved ones, your friends, your whatever, man, that they, they're still in your dreams. And that they're going to minimize you this way. And that they're going to turn their back on you. And they're going to reject you. They're going to say you're crazy. They're going to say all kinds of things against you and about you. Understand, family, that whatever they say, whatever they do, is a reflection of their growth and development, not yours. I'm going to say that again. Whatever these people do, whatever these people say, it's a reflection of their growth and development, not yours. You are the one. You are the game changer. My hope and prayer is that you understand that, that you embrace that. And you stop riding with these people that are robbing you of your energy, robbing you of your potential. That are distracting you, that are purposely distracting you to keep you from doing what you came here to do. I love you guys. Happy healing.